Hi guys, it's album review time. We've got Mitch Malloy and The Last Song. This is the latest album um, from this American singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist. An amazing talent we've got on the scene here. Um, so July the 7th, this album's coming out. The last album that Mitch Malloy brought out was Making Noise in 2016. Like I said, he does everything. Not, not just the singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist. He also produced and mixed and mastered this album. So a real labour of love. And man, what an amazing album this is. What an amazing talent Mitch Malloy is. Apparently, um, this is basically whenever Mitch Malloy writes songs, they're inspired by life and stuff that's going on in his life, stuff that's happened to him. That's how the greatest songs are written. So if you don't know who Mitch Malloy is, he was he actually turned down to go to Van Halen uh, back in, I think it was 92, when Sammy Hagar left the band. Um, and he was offered the job in Van Halen. And it just wasn't the right time, apparently, for, for him. But I can only imagine when I'm listening to some of this, and there's some stuff on here you would say that has a slight Van Halen feel. You know, even though he never actually... Uh, went into the band itself you can sort of get a feel of what we might have got and any fans who might have been disappointed uh, in the album of Gary Sharon way back when um, sort of might get a taste of well I definitely got a taste of what Van Halen would have felt with Mitch Malloy and man it's almost like it was obviously the best thing for him but it's something we'll never get to hear and I can imagine especially with Mitch Malloy's songwriting you know, what he could have bought to Van Halen if he was allowed to write a song, of course. And he also fronted the band Great White before leaving in 2022 after four years. He is just one outstanding talent in the world of rock today. The album is actually going to be available. You can get hold of it, the physical copy, in the link below. It's www.mitchmalloy.com where you can buy the album physical copy, doing vinyl and CD. Um, and man, it's well worth buying. It covers a lot as well, this album. There's lots of layers to it. Some of the songs give us different, like I said, emotions all the way through. Every song like though is in that rock, melodic rock sort of feel, classic rock sometimes. It's a great album for anyone who watches my channel. So going through the tracks and I did get sent this early by Mitch Malloy and I always appreciate that by the way but going through the tracks we start off with the brilliant track I'm living in paradise I'm living on sunshine Great, fun, groove-laden track. I believe this song, just reading a little bit about Mitch Malloy and what inspired this, is basically he's, he moved, I'm not sure when, but he moved by the sea um, and he lives in a beautiful place and that's what the paradise thing is all about. It sort of reminds me a bit of myself. I moved to Cornwall for a better life by the sea and that's what, exactly what I'm getting. It's the way it makes me feel. So it sort of has a connection to me, this song as well. So listening to the soul, in his vocals kick in on this track. It's just brilliant. I believe he's 61 now, and man, what the hell? I mean, he just sounds just the same as he did back in 92, really. Amazing stuff. So piano is used brilliantly in this song, and you get a little bit of that sprinkled throughout um, the album altogether. But alongside the guitar, it sounds perfect. It's catchy, almost a slight honky-tonk feel to this song, but melodic rock still. Great track to kick the album off. One of a kind is the next song. This was a single. It was the song I reacted to recently, actually. This is where you get a slight, a slight Van Halen feel, and you can sort of imagine that. You know, uh, with Mitch Malloy in the band. Actually, Ralph, the subscriber to the channel, mate as well, he mentioned that. It almost reminds him, especially of the drum work on this. Um, I love this track. There's some melancholy feel to it as well, but fun also at times. Amazing songwriting. Again, keys are sprinkled throughout, giving a bit of an 
epic feel at times, almost a symphonic sort of feel. Um, some great backing vocals here, like much of the album as well. So the next song is using this song. This is more of a ballad. It's a heartfelt ballad as well. It's sad in a musical way and melancholy, but has an uplifting feel too at the same time in parts, especially lyrically. I think after chatting with Mitch, which I have been quite a bit lately leading up to him um, sending me this as well and listening to it, he explained his love for music and you could feel it especially in this track. I mean, you can feel it across the album, but in this track, you can really feel it. Going into lyrics a little bit, um, he says, music speaks to everyone, but this song is just for you. So, you know, my love for music, you know, it, it, it's just immense. I wouldn't be, you know, my life without music. I can't even imagine it. And you can just feel it in this song. And those lyrics and the way Mitch sings it and the way he feels about music hit home a little bit more when you're listening to it. This track is literally vocals, keys, acoustic guitar, and a little percussion. Um, a track that displays the great emotion of his vocals. My Pleasure is the next track. Again, that slight Van Halen groove coming through here, I would say. Vocals are so good here, man. Also, that melancholy feel coming through in the way he writes songs. I think the way the backing vocals are used as well in this track are fundamental it's so meticulous, it, you know, I think this album, and you can hear it, took a lot of time to get the way it sounds and all the better for it. The guitars have a little bit less fuzz on this, so a little less geared towards the softer sort of side of rock. Still has so much power. He's on fire on this track. Building a Bridge is the next track. I'm reaching with so much left to learn. And what an epic track it is. Almost a 70s feel to this, I would say. Heavy, bluesy guitar, piano, and Mitch's vocals, again, so powerful throughout. This is classic rock done just right. It's sort of like one of those songs you might think it's a classic song you may have heard before. It's got that feel to it, but it's original, and it just gives a nod to some of the artists we love, I think. I'll find a way is next. Another fun field track. I've mentioned summer songs lately. Um, in some of the music we've had out, Midnight City being one of them. Um, and this can join that list. Although it has some fun feels in the verses, again, the chorus hits you with those slight melancholic feels again. Just gorgeous and hooky song. A lot of this song is led by the guitar and backing vocals. Just the melodies in the chorus are outstanding. Sometimes Love is the next song. You want groove? You got it right here. Such a catchy rock track. Mitch belts out those vocal lines. Like his life literally depends on it. It's amazing stuff. It's another fun track with those unmistakable hooks in the chorus that just pull you in. Great songwriting. You're the Brightest Star is next. Uplifting, fun again, puts a smile on your face. Stadium rock at its best. Has a slight rock and roll feel to it, this one. And again, it sounds like a hit. I mean, every single song. I don't listen to radio. I just don't because it's so awful. But... If there was any justice in the world, this song would be on it. I See You is the next track. It's, this one's got like a haunting feel to it. It's a great track. Again, Mitch knows how to pour the heartstrings musically by using piano and guitar together perfectly. And when you sprinkle those harmonizing backing vocals for it, it's the perfect combination. Original and classic sounding at the same time. And then we move on to the last song. Literally, it's called The Last Song. I'm just a singer in a rock and roll band, just a guy who needs to rock. I ain't got a lot pumping through my veins, and I'd rather listen to talk. Lucky for you, lucky for me. This is a life. 
singing about what he loves the most, really, music and living life to the fullest. Um, some of the lines on here as well. I don't usually pull lyrics out, but I don't know why I am on this one. I think it just hits home a bit more. It says, living my life like it's the last song. It sums it up perfectly in the feel across the album. Mitch pours everything into this track like he does throughout. Has a slight, for me, I don't know if I'm imagining it, a slight southern rock feel to this track. It sounds huge and rounds off the album in a brilliant way. So guys, Mitch Malloy, the last song. A brilliant, brilliant album. It's getting released on the 7th of July. You can just feel the work that's gone into this album. So it deserves everyone who watches this channel to go into that link that I'm gonna leave below, go onto the website, order the CD or the album. It's brilliant, guys. Let me know what you think if you're gonna get this album in the comments below. I'll see you soon.